Welcome to the CA Test Data Manager tutorial videos. In this short video, you will learn how to request and reserve the test data for your specific test cases using the CA Test Data Manager portal. The test data you request for your specific test cases comes from a test data warehouse. The test data engineer provisions the test data you need. You can then log into the CA TDM portal and reserve the test data using the self service catalog. Before you start the process demonstrated in this video, ensure that you have a valid login account to the CATDM portal with access to the self-service catalog, and ensure that the test data engineer has created a test data warehouse and configured a self-service form specific to the data you require. Let us see how John uses the CATDM portal to reserve the test data for his specific test cases. John is a test engineer who is assigned to test the Credit Card Corporation's software application. He has to test the application by entering a credit card number in the respective field in the application UI and verifying that the application is fetching the relevant information in the other fields. For this purpose, John wants to reserve the data from the data warehouse that can be used exclusively for his tests. John logs into the CATDM portal as a tester using his username and password. He has access to the self-service catalog and submitted requests options as shown in the navigation tree. John selects a project and version to set the context for the test data reservation. Here are the self-service flows that are designed to perform various tasks allowed in the CATDM portal. The All Projects checkbox allows John to see all the available self-service flows irrespective of the selected project version. John clears this checkbox to see the flows that are applicable only for the selected project. John has identified the flow that the test data engineer designed as per the test data criteria he specified and clicks New Request. Depending on the complexity of the test data requirement, the flow includes various fields. John provides inputs in each of these fields. John wants to apply specific criteria to his request, so he clicks Yes. John requires credit card data with a credit limit between $500 and $3,000. He requires two items to be reserved. He applies the default configuration to publish the test case data criteria. He selects the repeat count as 1. He clicks Next. He requires the data now, so clicks Yes. He chooses to release any previous data that he has reserved and also chooses to allow others to use the reserved data at the same time as long as it does not alter the key values. He clicks Next. He enters his email ID to receive the job status message over email. John can select to run the request immediately or schedule to a later date. He prefers to perform the request immediately, so selects Now and clicks Request. A request is created and shows the status on the Submitted Requests page here. John clicks the Refresh button to confirm that the request completed. On successful completion of the request, he clicks the download button. He opens the downloaded file and verifies the data reservation report and the data reserved for his specific test cases. John reserved two records for his test case. For the test name test1, these two are the card numbers with the credit limit within the range 500 and 3000 reserved as per the data criteria that he specified. All other relevant data associated with the card numbers is included. John can now use this data exclusively reserved for his test cases to test the software application that he is working on.
In this video, you have seen how a tester can reserve test data using the CATDM portal self-service catalog.